Hi, we're going to look underneath the hood of our 1964 Chevelle truck, El Camino. Um, kind of a unique vehicle here. First thing I started looking at this, um, it is, it's kind of a very special vehicle underneath the uh, hood. It has a 512 block in it, <coughs> which designates it to be at least a Hypo 427, probably a 454. But what's really indicative of, of what it has is it has an LS6, only thing they ever used it on. It's a low rise, tall port, rectangular port, winter snowflake, GM intake manifold. The only thing that was ever used on was an LS6 Chevelle, which would have been a 512 block. We haven't had the motor apart to determine exactly its, its displacement, but we know it's going to be at least a 427, probably a 454. And like I said, everything on this is indicative of an LS6. It does have the LS6 cast iron exhaust manifolds on it, not headers, cast iron exhaust. It has new water pump. You can see the entire engine has been out and completely gone through. It has a Holley double pump carburetor dual feed on it. The car does not have power steering or power brakes, but I drove the car and it runs and drives really, really well. It does not really require power steering. It doesn't give forth a whole lot of effort. I don't know if a 100-pound girl could drive the car successfully, but most guys aren't going to have an issue with it. it has the chrome package that would have been uh, correct for GM of that era. Chrome air cleaner lid, 454 designation on top of it. Chrome GM valve pan covers on them with the wire looms uh, uh, still attached to it. A uh, new set of plug wires on it. New hoses. It does have the heater still uh, functional in the car for the uh, passenger compartment. It has the original style uh, distributor in this car and coil, so it does not have an HEI system in it. It has a new alternator on it. It has a seven blade fan. It has a high flow uh, GM radiator that would have been correct for 1964. Satin finished inner fender wells on the car just the way they should be. Your fender tag is still in, or uh, cowl tag is still intact. Firewall is satin black the way it should be. And the original equipment style sound deadener are still installed uh, in the uh, base of the hood here. Brand new battery in it. New hoses throughout. I, there's absolutely no oil leakage whatsoever on the top of this engine. There's nothing from the valve pan covers um, intake manifold, back of the intake manifold, uh, there, the timing chain cover, there's absolutely nothing. If This is as clean an engine compartment as you're ever going to find. Definitely a high horse, at least a 454 in this car. Um, real strong running car. Let's go around the rest of it and see what we can find. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today we're going to present to you a 1964 Chevelle truck. El Camino. Um, really, really a neat, neat vehicle. You have to take a look at this thing. It, it's very unique in every way. Uh, it presents itself as just a stock 64 El Camino, but under the hood there's something real magical going on. So let's go over the aesthetics on the outside. Hood is absolutely, you can see, it, it could not possibly fit any better than it does. Nice gap, nice alignment. Same thing on this side, the whole way back. The finish on the car is a little tiny mark there. I don't know what it is. There's something in the paint. It's not going to come out, but you really have to look to see it. The paint on the car is a better than driver quality finish on it. It, uh, it hasn't been wet sanded or buffed or anything yet, and already this thing has a lot of depth and a lot of luster to it. It's a great looking car, great alignment on the front. The, uh, Separator down the center of the hood. There's no pitting, no marks or anything whatsoever on that. The Chevrolet designation on the front. No pits on it. Anodized aluminum trim that transitions the whole way around the grill area. It is absolutely as fresh and new as you could ever find, ever. Basil around the uh, headlight, just as nice as can be. Grill, no marks, no dinghies. This side the same as the other. Filler panel really, really nice. Let's check the bumper. That bumper 
is spot on. Uh, you can see that in the video. It is. It, it could not fit any better uh, than it is on this car right now. Amber parking lights in the front. Chrome on the bumper is just exemplary. There's no marks or dings or chips or uh, marks in the chrome whatsoever. Or in the grill, looking straight onto it. Now at this point, there's absolutely nothing. So the front end of this car is this nice example of a '64 El Camino that you'll ever ever find. There's no marks. Little tiny thing here, but again, you know, it may wet sand out. It looks like there's just a little tiny imperfection in the paint there. Alignment is fantastic. The paint job is fantastic. Let's go down the side, see what we can determine there. Okay, down the driver's side of our little uh, Chevelle truck here. Again, Chevelle designation on the front. Beautiful paint on this car. Really, really beautiful. Fender lip molding, really sweet. V8 designation. Look at the fit on this. This could not be any better than it is. There's just no way. Rocker panel molding straight as an arrow down the side of it. There's no dents or warbles or anything in it. Bow tie mirror, driver's side. Tinted glass, the windshield. Correct arms, incorrect blades. They're a more modern design like an Amco blade. Trim around the windshield. A couple marks right here. Actually, three. One, two, three little dinghies where somebody, I don't know what they were doing, but they did put a very, very slight marks on that uh, piece of trim. Where the dashboard transitions onto the uh, base of the windshield, this is nice and clean. It's not a padded dash, it, or wait, no, it isn't. It's a steel dash. It transitions to the base of the windshield super, super clean. Uh, no distress or no dirt or anything at the base of it. Really nice. Roof is just smooth as glass. There's no marks or dings or distortions whatsoever in it. Drip rail, flawless. There's no marks whatsoever in it. Wing area, I believe this is the original rubbers in it. Chrome around the wing, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Window wipes, whiskers, absolutely as new as can possibly be. I can't tell if they're original. I'm going to call them replacements because uh, they're, they're too soft or too resilient uh, to be that old. Well, crown on the door handle, like new. Look at this. Can't find anything that's going to fit any better than that. There's absolutely no way. Trim around the back. Back light is not tinted. It's uh, regular glass. Trim around it is Really sweet. Our little two inch hat shelf that goes across the back is nice. It's, it's not distorted or, or warped or faded or anything. It's really in great condition. Wheel lip molding on the back, the same as in the front. Trim at the top of the, uh, I guess you'd call it a bedside because it basically is a Chevelle truck. So at the top of the bedside, there's no marks or no dents or anything from. Uh, someone leaning anything against it through the years, even looking down the side of it, laser straight. El Camino designation in the back, no pitting whatsoever in it. I like that thin type rocker panel and, and bottom treatment that they did the entire length of this car. If you didn't notice already, I'll point them out to you. 17 inch torque thrust style, chrome plated, Foose wheels. Do yourself a favor and take a look at the cost of a set of these once. These are actual Foose wheels. Very, very high end. Very high quality. Gas filler door. Look at this. There's absolutely no deviation whatsoever. Absolutely none. Did the whole driver's side. Can't find a mark other than that little speck on the hood, which obviously you're not going to do anything with except run a buffer over it. The alignment of the doors, the fenders, the, the gas lid, the quarter panels, everything on this car is lined up as it should be. You could not possibly fit this any better than it is. Let's go out back and see what happens back here for us. Okay, back end of our Chevelle. Again, look at the trim around the uh, tail light assemblies. Just crystal clear, nice and smooth and bright. Same as on this side, absolutely the same way. No dents or marks on the top of the tailgate. Chevrolet designation. No pits. 
This car is really, I, I can't imagine you could find a better fit on a car than this. Look, the same as the hood and the doors and everything, look. That is as precise as you would ever find a car in this era. I mean, I'm not saying it's a new Porsche or a Ferrari, but I'll tell you what, it's getting as close as you can fitment to that. Fantastic fit on this car. Dual exhaust out the back, chrome on the bumper, there's no marks or, or indentations or chips or anything. Again, just like the front bumper, the fitment is just spot on. Could not be any better. There's no angularity to it. it it's just fit absolutely as flawlessly as it can. This is a great back end of a car and a great side. We've got one more left to do, but I can't find a single thing on this car. Nothing. Okay, passenger side of our uh, Chevelle truck. Again, the top of this rail, there's not a single imperfection in it. It's just as nice and sweet as you could ever find. Again, El Camino designation on the back, no pitting whatsoever. Bumper fitting on this thing, I can't believe how it fits. Even the trim along the bottom, there's no, there's absolutely nothing, no, uh, no gaps, no deviation. Paint on the sides of this car is just, and bear in mind, we haven't even, you know, buffed this thing yet. This is just the way we got it. Wheel lip molding, the same as the other two. And it stores out just a hair. It could go in just a little tiny bit on the bottom. Looks like a little tiny bit of a deviation there. Well within production standards. There, there's no reason to, to indicate that there's any uh, trauma through the years or anything to this door. It's just an adjustment. And back then, they really threw these things together pretty, pretty readily, you know. So, uh, that's something where we may adjust that a little bit better than it is. Trim around the back window on this side. Same as the other side. Drip grill, same way. Whiskers, wipes, brand new. Chrome on the door handle, flawless. Look how it fits. Everything else fits so nice. I can't believe how well the fitment is on this car. Again, it hit it up front here. Look at this. Version it kind of looks like an original Cookman antenna on it. Same thing with the wheel molding up front here. No denser dings. Chevelle on the nose of it again. I, a little tiny mark in the hood. Hit it with a buffer, it'll be gone, or 90% of it will anyway. Certainly nothing that would designate that you'd paint the hood. A uh, little tiny adjustment on the door, a little tiny tweak, and then the car would be flawless. I mean, literally, it, it would approach the quality of a uh, of a new Porsche GT3. It, uh, it's just a fantastic car. Great look. Phenomenal power plant in this thing. And what really brings everything to life is it's a three pedal car. This thing is a four speed. Anyway, you just watched me go over this whole car and uh, other than those couple tiny little things that I, I pointed out that can be rectified, uh, there's nothing else I could find on this car. It's an example of a 64 Al Camino Chevelle truck. Um, there has to be some rarity to it. They did not produce that many of these vehicles. It has a lot of look. It has a lot of charisma. It does have a set of high-end 17-inch uh, Foose wheels to go along with it. Just a fantastic vehicle. You really need to take a look at this. It's on your Hangster's website in Daytona Beach, Florida. We made every attempt to go over this vehicle as we do all the vehicles that we have here to point out any imperfections that I see. Hopefully I don't miss anything, you know. I'm not perfect. I try to pick out every little imperfection that I can within reason. You know, this is, like, again, you know, this is not a new Ferrari. This is an old 50-year-old car, more than that. And um, it's bound to have some inequities as, as opposed to what's being produced by the automotive industry today. But we make every attempt to show you everything that you need to see in this car to make a decision for your purchase. We're going to do an undercarriage, we're going to do a drive video, we're going to do an interior video, and that made it up with the walk around should give you all the ammunition you need, plus Devin's going to give you 80 to 90 still photos, high resolution, that you can study the vehicle in every aspect of it. So if you need anything in addition to that, 
Give us a call at Hankshire's and we'll be glad to get it for you. Let's do the inside. Well, we're inside of our 1964 Chevelle truck, El Camino. Uh, this car is just absolutely, absolutely really well done. I can't believe somebody spent the time and effort uh, to put this together to the degree that they did. It has cut pile carpeting in it, uh, real high end. The dash is all painted just like it should have been when it was brand new. Glove compartment fits, everything else is fitting the way it should. This centerpiece, your, your basil that goes entirely around <clears throat> your instrument cluster, which is usually all worn out and funky looking. This is just as it was when it was new. Silver, the way it should be. It has a speedometer, it has a clock in it, and it has a fuel gauge and, and three uh, uh, idiot lights for it. Does not have a radio. Nice big hole in the dash here for you to put whatever you want in it. At least someone didn't cut anything up, they left it intact as it was when it was original. So you can install whatever radio you want to in the dash, hopefully without cutting it up. Um, steering wheel. No cracks whatsoever. That's amazing. Usually these wheels are all cracked up. The um, horn ring itself, the chrome is absolutely flawless. Uh-oh, there's something we got to fix. The um, bow tie insignia, the plastic piece that goes in the center, uh, came loose. So it has to be, this horn ring has to be taken off and that glued back into place. That's something for us to do. The entire vehicle inside is done in a red velour. It's like a wine red velour. This is going to be a, either a love it or hate it deal for this. I mean, they've even done the headliner, which is drum tight, with um, red velour. The seats, armrest seats with the center console type piece on it. Um, like I said, it's either a love it or hate it, but I, I got to tell you, sitting in this thing, it's like sitting in a living room chair. It's got an armrest on both sides that folds down. Um, once you're in this thing, it's like you're in a living room sofa, you know, just uh, watching television. It's just, it's just super, super comfortable. It, it carries on onto the uh, material that they used on the doors. The window cranks and door handles are all absolutely as they were when they were new. The car is just phenomenal inside. I mean, I really, I'm not a velour guy, you know, but this interior is just so comfortable. I can't imagine any ever, anyone ever wanting to change it from what it is. I mean, it, it just it looks good, it fits good, uh, it's great to sit in. Um, I, I can't see a single thing in this vehicle that you'd really, really want to change. And this is one thing you definitely would not want to change. Four speed. Um, with that motor and this guy on the floor, this thing equals out to a hell of a lot of fun. You can take this thing and destroy the tires on it if you want, or take it out and just drive it nice and leisurely and have a lot of fun with it. Plus, you have room to haul things. So, I guess we got ourselves a really nice 64 Chevelle. It's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And uh, you really got to take a look at this one. This is a sweetheart. It's a nice car. It is working. We have a whipper. It is working. Wipers are working. See, all right now is going to work shortly. It just didn't come through the wall here. Left turn signal is functioning. Right turn signal, same way, functioning as it should. Ah. Fans coming on. No radio. You can put what you want in that one because there's definitely no hole there for the radio. There is a hole there for the radio. Um, it has a clock. It has a fuel gauge. It is functioning. It shows almost three quarters of the tank. Uh, generator light, oil light, and temperature light. All uh, idiot lights. Speedometer, I'm sure, is going to work here. Yep, you can see it going up now. We'll go out on the road here and go for a little ride in our. Chevelle truck and see how it runs. A little bit of wine from that rock crusher, but other than that, can't really say anything about it. No hands on the steering wheel. There's no 
on the road. Now it's four gear here. Nice straight run on the road. Guy right on my tail here, otherwise I could try the brakes, but can't because. Even we're going 40 in a, or we're going 50 some in a 40 mile an hour zone. I got somebody back here that thinks he's at the Daytona Speedway and he's drafting me. Brakes on when we turn around. Nice tight running rig though. Very tight, very solid car. No rattles or shakes or shimmies or anything in it. Nice tight running car. We'll put the brakes on the hands and see what happens. A little bit of a tiny pull to the right, but it could be tires, it could be just the fact that the brakes haven't been used on this guy for a while. Very, very slight to the right. But nice tight running car, really nice car. No vibrations, no shakes. Nice ride. The seats are really comfortable, you know that. They are really comfortable. Armrest on both sides. We're underneath our 1964 uh, El Camino Chevelle truck. Um, this particular one is a big block car. Uh, we just did the uh, video presentation of the uh, uh, exterior of the vehicle and the interior of it. Uh, this thing is really a very unique vehicle. It, uh, it is a 454, appears to be at least an LS6 engine. Um, a rocket of a vehicle, 1964 El Camino. Conventional drum brakes in the front, heavy duty sway bar, uh, the way these cars came. Uh, new shocks in the front. Subframes in the front, your box uh, frames are really as nice as can possibly be. There's no marks, no dings, no dents, no jack marks on them whatsoever. Original floor pans in the front, they don't see anywhere they've been replaced or addressed anywhere in the front, not that I can detect anyway. Uh, let me change that. This floor pan has been replaced. This piece right here has been addressed and replaced with the steel, apparently the, the type of floor pan that they came with in 1964, but I do see weld marks where it has been addressed. This side has not that I can detect. Again, 454, notice no leaks. Um, it's about an 8 quart pan. Uh, it's not a Milliden pan, probably um, Summit Racing or someone's uh, aftermarket pan. But you can see absolutely no leaks on the engine whatsoever or the bell housing area. It does have an M22 rock crusher in it. Uh, it does have a heavy duty uh, uh, GM transmission 4 speed in this particular car. Transmission uh, uh, mount, no marks, no uh, jack marks or anything on it. Uh, I never noticed this before. Usually the Chevelles have a C channel frame. This particular vehicle has an entire box frame a full perimeter frame front to rear. Wow, that's something I never noticed before. But this one does have a box frame. Uh, new U-joint in the back, no leaks in the back of the uh, tail shaft. Again, no leaks on the transmission. You can see everything as clean as can be. Does have the LS6 stock cast iron exhaust manifolds on it. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, inch and an eighth primary pipes coming off the exhaust which are absolutely brand spanking new going into two and a quarter inch primary pipes back to the two uh, turbo mufflers. Again the floor pans, uh, the structural supports underneath this are all undisrupted. 
back toward the rear of the vehicle, the same thing. All the original floor pans, uh, everything undisrupted, just as nice as can possibly be. No jack marks anywhere along either section of this full perimeter frame. Brake lines going toward the back, still original brake lines with their original clips in it, original fuel lines with its original clips in it. Um, parking brake assembly still original and intact. You can see everything is there for your parking brake assembly. Uh, halfway back through this vehicle and there's absolutely nothing other than we did find one replacement floor pan on the uh, passenger side front, uh, done very, very professionally and correctly. Um, I almost missed it, but we got it for you. Uh, let's see what's on the other half. Okay, second half of our El Camino. Um, again, the frame seconds you can see are just undisrupted. No jack marks whatsoever. I can't see a single one anywhere. It's totally amazing. That many years and no jack marks. You usually see one somewhere. This one does not have any. Swing arm assemblies are as they were when they were new. Uh, new bushings in the NEM. You can see the turbo mufflers on here, uh, brand new also. 10 bolt heavy duty Chevy rear end in it, drum brakes in the rear. It does have a new set of shocks in the rear also. Uh, it does have them uh, to complement the ones in the front. The uh, framework toward the back of the car and your uh, structural piece that uh, ties the two frame sections together in the rear, again, totally undisrupted. It, it's never been touched. Original drop downs in the quarter panels, there's no issues in the bed surfaces whatsoever. Original gas tank, um, no dents, no dings whatsoever in it either. I don't see anything at all. I'm going to call these uh, two and a quarter pipes out of the uh, mufflers also. Uh, nice, uh, nice strong uh, brand new exhaust system on this uh, vehicle. Wow, the drop downs and the quarters are just the way they were in 1964. I don't see anything that's ever been modified or repaired or, or disrupted at all. So that's the undercarriage of our uh, 64 uh, Chevelle truck. Uh, you can see the exhaust is all brand new, no leaks whatsoever on the engine, transmission, or the rear axle on this vehicle, rear end. Uh, it, it's just as nice a vehicle underneath as you're ever going to find. 1964, rare to find a Chevelle truck in 1964. But we got one here with an LS6 Type 454 in it and a Rock Crusher 4 speed. You can have a lot of fun with this guy. Take a look at it. Thanksgiving in uh, Daytona Beach, Florida.